What's going on guys? Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, you got yourself a Godfather Jersey Jack pinball machine. Consider doing these couple of things before you even start playing. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright guys, you know, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything. The process of bringing this down the stairs. What a journey. This thing is a tank. This thing is heavy. I am just, I am just mind blown that it's here. It's in my house. It is in my battle station game room. I am just ecstatic. I am loving every bit of it. But... I have yet to play it. <laughs> so, there's a couple of reasons why I'm making this video on this one today. Again, we're gonna be doing a couple of things that if you do go to Pinside, there is a Godfather forum. It's called Keep It In The Family. There is a couple of things that is highly, I would say recommended. I would recommend doing these. It's a couple of things that are recommended to do before anything kind of blows um, and such. So. This video, I'm gonna be doing just that. So take me on this journey as we kind of put in a couple of things and fixes to prevent any blowouts from happening. Now off the bat, I'm pretty sure you could consider this video if you have a collector's edition or if you have the LE. I have not done the actual fixes yet. I am recording this process. Uh, we'll do it together basically, but all in all, you know, some people, they are a little bit upset. I am a little bit too. There's probably one big thing that is upsetting to me. We're going to call this number one, what you should do. It's very up in the air. It's kind of difficult. But again, going to pin side, that's the number one thing. Before anything, we start. Go to pin side. There's something at the top where it's kind of like a pinned topics um, thing. I should really get the exact name. I'll get it later because I have to load up my phone anyway. But there's basically a couple of posts of people posting things that you should do. This one that I'm going to say right now off the bat, it is concerning. For me, it is concerning. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to probably give Jersey Jack a call first. But what am I talking about? There seems to be an issue as far as the armor. We're talking about the side rails here and the lockdown bar. I don't have the lockdown bar in. It is still wrapped. There is a big issue that people are having. I'm not going to say that I'm having because I have yet to even unwrap it. But there's something about the lockdown bar, the gold, where your palms are. After a certain amount of plays, people are noticing discoloration. Uh, that, to me, it is concerning. Especially for the amount of money that we spent on this. Apparently, Jersey Jack did not clear coat these. You're gonna slide in real quick on this part of the video. I know it is the beginning of the video, but I feel like I need to address it in a positive note. I'm gonna let my original video go after this. So you're gonna hear about it. Keep in mind, I shot that the day I got this in the basement, unwrapped and ready to go. So that was August 31st. Today is September 2nd. So we are looking at two days after. Really, I called up JJP yesterday, September 1st. Long story short, I'm going to mention something that everybody on pin side, as far as the collector's editions, have noticed, and that is the gold discoloration on the lockdown bar and the side rails. In my shoes right now, it's a little difficult because the tech support on JJP, number one, amazing, phenomenal. I don't want to sound like a JJP fanboy, but I gave them a call. Basically, you're going to see in the future of this video, right after I talk about this, you're going to hear me talking about the concerning discoloration on the lockdown bar basically a lot of ce owners are noticing that the edges here where your palms are the gold is actually changing colors uh mostly because of your oils on your hands some scientific stuff so you're going to hear me i'm going to say it again but right now i just want to jump in real quick and just give you a quick heads up when i called jjp now, in all honesty, again, two days after, I have not really, brutal honestly, I have not played more than about five serious games. I'm talking like really in locked in. I haven't played more than a handful of games on this. Yes, I'm gonna load up the actual, like, how many games I played. Um, but basically, 
in that was me making the videos, really me testing the plunger to see if I could get full plungers and all that. I really haven't gotten a full down pack game. I don't even know how many games it's gonna show, but right now, without me playing hardcore, I do have discoloration on my lockdown bar. So I do wanna give you a heads up that I do have it. I'm gonna bring you in close, but I wanna tell you the real reason why I contacted JJP first. Now, after I made the couple of videos that you're gonna see, which I did the unboxing and now this video here, it was a long night. I was just kind of tired. I knew I wasn't gonna play, but the next morning, which was yesterday, I wanted to play a game. I come to look at my game and I look at my lockdown bar and I actually have a scratch on the right side of my lockdown bar. It is an odd kind of scratch. In all honesty, it looks like a staple rubbed against it. I even went back to the footage and I'm like, did it happen? Like, did I put the lockdown bar? But it looks like it happened in transit. So this is why I called JJP. Brand new cabinet. I mean, you're talking one day old when I got it. I just said to him, hey man, listen, I don't know what happened in transit, but it looks like my lockdown bar has a scratch. What I'm gonna say next, he actually told me don't say anything about it, but I feel like it's a very key thing. It's a very important thing that people should know. And again, when he told me this, I was ecstatic. I was very happy. He was just like, we're working on something. So he kind of already knew. I didn't mention the thing about discoloration. I mentioned that I had a scratch on my lockdown bar. He goes, Vic man, I'll be honest. If you can play your machine, enjoy it, but give us some time because we have been getting a couple of concerning calls and emails about discoloration as far as the lockdown bar. He's like, I don't wanna send you a lockdown bar now because you might experience a discoloration, but we do have something in the works. I already knew, I didn't, I didn't mention anything about discoloration, but he knew, like he knew, I already knew, but I didn't mention it. I was like, oh shit, these guys are actually listening and I think that's an awesome thing. But again, he said, Vic, I mentioned the thing on pin side. I was like, oh, I'm on pin side and I do see people. He goes, listen, what I'm telling you right now, please don't post the pin side. We're just trying to figure out a solution. I said, wow, off the bat, you guys just listening and actually doing something, that's awesome. Now again, that's words. You know, it's word of mouth. It's not locked in. Again, he basically said to me, he goes, Vic, man, play your machine, dude. Give us some time, maybe about a month or two, we're gonna put in right now a ticket, and when we're ready, we'll ship you out a new lockdown bar and side rails, possibly. Again, I didn't really talk about the side rails. I was focused on the lockdown bar on my phone call, and he just basically put in a ticket. I have my ticket. I did get an email. He said, Vic man, what is the serial number on your machine? I said, oh, I don't know it. He goes, make sure you register your machine. I said, okay, cool. I now looking at it, there is a ticket made. This is the registration email. I have a ticket made and he wrote lockdown bar finish defects. So I didn't mention anything about a finish defect. He wrote it in. So it's pretty cool and awesome to hear that they are listening. Again, it is not set in stone, but I do want to bring this up now because again, you're going to see my original take. And right now, before that goes, I'm going to show you my actual lockdown bar, which does have discoloration. I didn't even seriously play my machine and we're gonna see how many plays I have. So just a quick view of the lockdown bar. Honestly, you do see it more in the dark than in the light, but it is right here. I don't know if you could see that little swoop. In person, it is very noticeable, like to me. I mean, it is my machine, I do notice it. I doubt family members would notice it, but you do see it. Again, I'm trying to get it in a good angle on the camera. Mm hmm. But yeah, like you could you could see the two tones here. You could definitely see it here. If I stay here when the cab kind of lights up better, you could see the hands here. So again, you're talking palms here while you're playing. That is the exact print it's making. And again, I'm gonna load up how many game plays. Real quick though, I will show you my actual scratch. I'll also do B-roll before, but just to show you in the dark, you could see that scratch there. Again, that is like a staple Again, the only thing I could think of is the topper was down and then it is fairly close to the lockdown bar. So I would, I would assume that the box of the topper rubbed on this. Again, I'm not upset about it. Yes, it's a brand new, but just hearing that they were willing to even send me out a lockdown bar, he just said, Vic man, play your machine and just wait for that email back. So that was pretty cool.
So if I look at it right now, you can see here, I have 18 games started, but really 15 games played. Average game time, four minutes. Um, so again, even with that low, that to me is a low amount of plays. And again, most of that is because I press start. You can even see it when we were doing like the whole plunge, which you'll see, you know, just to try to get it. That's really the amount of games. I haven't really done a full game, but again, you do see the discoloration on the lockdown bar and I only have 15 games. Not to mention also take a look at this here. I do have a little minor scratch here, right there. It is not dirt, that is like a chip. Again, it's like as if a staple hit it. But yeah. So again, I know I'm kind of swooping in. This is the beginning of the video. You're like, what the hell is going on? You're gonna hear my original take. Just right now before I end it, I am not powder coating my stuff. I actually don't have to because I have, I feel relaxed ever since I made that call to JJP. Again, uh, the guy said, Vic, try not to mention it. I do feel like my channel might blow up, especially with the whole unboxing video. I am planning to post a lot about this. I love this machine. I love it. It's my first machine. I have a lot for it. I'm the type of person I want to see this machine succeed. I want to see the company succeed because what this is, so far family members that come over, they're like, whoa, this is insane. So again, I'm hoping that they pull through. Shouldn't be mentioning much, but my 6,000 subscribers, I hope they kind of see it like, whoa, Vic, Vic helping us out. So there you have it. We'll go back now to the original video that I made and I'll be playing my machine. Um, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, I love it. The gold is amazing. Me right now, I've only owned this, I have yet to play an actual game. Part of me right now is thinking about removing the side rails and bringing the lockdown bar to a paint shop uh, to get it powder coated. Uh, I don't know how much it's gonna cost me. Apparently if you do powder coating, it might change the color. Uh, there's a lot, you, look, you start researching and sometimes it's not good to research. I did message a company by, close by to me. He actually plays pinball. Um, so I was like, oh, you know pinball? Because I've been calling people like, oh, I'm trying to get something powder coated. Like, what is it? And I'm like, it's a lockdown bar. They're like, what? This guy was like, oh, pinball? Like, oh, you know, you know who made it? Jersey Jack. Like, we were, we were talking for like 30 minutes. He didn't give me a price though, but he did say, Vic, man, I'll be honest. Once you start going with this clear coating, it is going to change the color. I don't know if this is factual. I have not done this. I don't know. This is what I heard, okay? It kind of is putting me on a pause because the goal, and as you can see, I still have the protector here on the side. I honestly, as far as the side rails, I might just leave a little bit of the green right where my fingertips are when I actually start playing it, trying to see like where exactly lockdown bar is. But you don't want like gold and green. That kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. So as far as number one, you might want to look into this powder coating idea Again, my machine is brand new. I have not played a single game yet besides my brother-in-law playing the first game. My lockdown bar is still in the plastic. Other big thing people are saying that their emblem, again, I, I don't even know if mine is. People are saying that the emblem is a little bit crooked. Mine seems okay. But if you do get this powder coated, you're gonna have to remove the emblem. Not to mention, you're gonna have to remove the um oh this isn't too bad oh no it is you're gonna have to remove the button here somebody did again pinside is where i'm getting all this detail you could go to pinside and join up and and check it out somebody basically said you have to break this like button out uh it's that's probably the one thing that's kind of nervous to me i don't want to start breaking things that i just spent money on again i'm gonna have to just contact the jersey jack or wait until they have a solution it's just sometimes you look at pin side and people are like, you're never gonna find a solution because apparently Jersey Jack doesn't finish their game. I don't really wanna hear anything about it. Um, again, I'm happy with my purchase. I haven't played it yet, but I just love the way it looks. It's a thing of beauty. Does it suck that we have to do this? Yes. Um, but again, if you go to pin side, there are a couple of reasonable people that are like, hey man, don't jump ship. Don't, don't like, ah. Uh, you know, maybe wait, wait until Jersey Jack, maybe they're gonna give us extra side rails and a lockdown bar, I don't know. But that's probably number one that you should probably look into is if you want to clear coat this. I, like I said, part of me wants to do it, 
But then once you mention taking this off and then I have to remove the button, you know, for me, I, I build arcades. I could do it. It's just, I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, you know, part of me is like, I don't want to break this. This is brand new. I don't want to break it. So for me, I right now, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to leave it. My main thing for the side rail, I'm going to probably maybe just leave about three inches and uh, just have it out. You know, I'll probably just leave three inches once I lock it. I'll find out when I play a couple games, I'll find out where my fingers are. So the green on the side rails will be the last thing I'm going to remove. Let's go on to the second thing. Something about putting electrical tape on a board underneath. So again, I'm doing this in a sporadic order. So be sure to check out the description. It has like the timestamps of everything. I right now want to focus on two of the main things that are happening underneath the play field. So to be safe, I will be turning off the machine for this part. Anytime you are opening up the play field, be sure you have the machine off, I suggest. Um, sad thing in my situation, I can't leave the play field up. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to use one of these maybe boards that came with the cabinet to hold the play field up. But basically there's two sections. I'm trying to find the first one. I can't tell where it is um, on the post. Um, but the first one is something along here with the apron. I could even see it. Um, basically there's a couple of prongs. It's on the left apron here. It is very close. Uh, it looks like it's touching here, but obviously it wasn't because the game is okay. But Let's start with that one first, and then we're gonna try to find this drop target thing. All right, we're gonna start first with this one. So pin side post number 1269 suggests here the left apron here. I'm not sure how I great I get that on camera, but basically that right there, these, these pins right here, very close to this metal. The right apron though, there's a lot of space on this. We don't have to worry about that. So basically, we're gonna work on getting a piece of electrical tape in front of this so it doesn't touch the metal. So that's basically what we're doing. Again, pin side post 1269. You'll see the comment there. Under there is a guy named LTG. He said something about lifting it, bending something. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna do that now. First things first, definitely, especially if you are a CE owner, utilize these covers that JJP provided us before lifting the play field. This is my second time lifting up this play field now. Still getting the hang of it. So I got the bars here. Nice little pull out. Awesome. I am going to just lock it in actually. Good. So it hits there. I'm able to rest it here. Luckily now from here, Kind of hard to actually get there. Uh, apparently I could loosen a couple of these things. But yes, now this is the fun. We're gonna try to figure out how to fix this. All right, so for this mod, we do have to remove the apron. It's not worth trying to bend it and stuff. Not too bad, especially if you don't have the right tools. I was using pliers. Uh, basically there's two nuts. There's one that was here. And there is one on the left side that was here. Right now I pulled the apron up a little bit. There was one right here. And then there's two screws. There's a screw here and then a screw here. Once you remove those four, you have your apron is gonna be free. You do wanna be careful when you lift these screws up. There is a washer here, a black washer. Be sure you keep that. You wanna put that back. So as you can see, apron off. What a thing of beauty. We're gonna put that to the side. And now we see the left here, this left PCB board, these exposed pieces here. Basically, I'm just gonna put electrical tape. I'm gonna put it right in the front. The right side, I already have the apron off. I might as well do it. Again, some people might think you, you don't have to do this. In all honesty though, you pulling this play field out, you are pulling on the apron. So it is a matter of time before that touches. And yes, you can't see it on camera, but those pins are very close. Let's just knock it out. Just wanted to zoom in for you guys again. Right here, these pins right here, we're gonna be putting electrical tape there. I am the type, I have my electrical tape. I do have scissors. I do want like clean pieces. I don't want to just pull electrical tape and it like stretches. I'm not really a fan of that. I'm gonna give it a little bit of excess and we kinda of wanna do it where it's right on, it's basically riding the top pin. Um, keep in mind, again, you don't want this to be seen, really. But... 
I'm okay with that right there. So again, I'm hiding basically right here, this. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about, oh, does, you don't see that. Once the apron is on, you don't see that. But again, I'm not covering the LED. I think that's a perfect piece. Again, I will be doing the right side. Again, you, you spent your time. Again, unfortunately for me, I don't have this size, like the, the nut, whatever the nut is, I don't have the size of it. In my whole arsenal of like screwdriver bits and all that, I don't have the size of it. So I did have to manually turn. Definitely the right side one, you wanna be careful. I have, I have you guys zoomed out. Let's actually zoom you out. So again, same thing. Just gonna size it up. Not too bad. Again, this is pretty. I mean, again, somebody might watch this and be like, I shouldn't have to do this, Vic. I know we shouldn't, but listen. What better way, honestly, to know your machine and just to understand, see what's going on underneath? Might as well. I understand we shouldn't have to do this, especially with the amount of money we spent, but it doesn't hurt to learn your machine. That's it. We're good. I'm going to put the apron back, but I'm going to make sure right here, I'm going to make sure that I put those little black washers back. Again, they were one washer on each side. You can even kind of tell like they have little markings. And yeah, we're going to be good there. Definitely want to keep your eye on that. Don't want it to just fly away. So let's put the apron back. All right, guys, check it out. Apron is back on. Again, just so you can see it now, you got that one nut there. You got the two screws right here. You got the other nut on the left there. Total time, about 30 minutes. That is because I don't have the head for the lock nut. I use pliers and slow and steady wins the race. But now, you can't even see the pins because electrical tape is on it. Cool. Not too bad. On to the next one. So the next fix is post 674. Something about a possible blown fuse because of a drop target touching an LED board. Unfortunately, with my ceiling height, I can't really get this unless I get somebody to help me out. But it is this drop target here. If you look carefully at his picture, you could actually see the body armor vest. So it's somewhere here that you have to be underneath and put the electrical tape. For right now, unfortunately, I won't be doing that because I don't have the extra set of hands. I'm gonna put the play field back in. I don't have anything else really for the play field. Other stuff underneath the play field is kind of in game. Uh, you know, some people are saying uh, something about like a compound lock uh, situation or like a switch not hitting. We're right now going to focus on the ramp. That right now I definitely want to do because I'm seeing something already with only one game being played on that ramp. All right, we got the machine back, booted up and running. Uh, you could leave it off, but I'm not really doing anything high powered. I'm not gonna go underneath the play field anymore. We're gonna be focusing on this ramp right here. Um, also have it on so I can see, I have lighting now so I can actually see stuff. Kind of alarming, honestly, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna try to hold the ramp up. Again, only one game. I only have one game played and already underneath this ramp on the right i'll zoom in obviously there is already a minor scratch on my play field what's crazy is that jjp has it on their actual paper that says that they did something here so it's not slamming on the actual play field uh people have made this comment about they should you should get this kind of rubber and put it there and sure enough even with one it might have even happened in shipment uh again like i said i'm going to zoom in just to show you what i'm talking about so i got this piece of foam here from the shipping i even have my flashlight on maybe we could get this on camera it is right there you guys see that white right here that white i'll wait until my camera hopefully focuses there you go that is after one play uh I mean, it's not awful. I'm not making a big deal about it, but luckily somebody discovered we're going to put that rubber foam padding underneath to prevent any more. Um, again, one play of game. What are you worried about? What am I worried about? <laughs> I'm worried about damage, my guy. But yes, we're going to do this now. We're basically going to make a foam lip for this. 
So I figure I'm gonna show you the process that I'm doing. There is no real process. I'm just winging this. Maybe it'll work. I don't know if it'll work for you. I'm gonna see if it works for me. Basically though, I have that piece of rubber that somebody suggested off of Amazon. Uh, the white side is like the sticky side. That's what we're gonna stick. So basically me lifting up the ramp, I actually don't need the foam piece. It looks like it actually caught uh, because this ramp goes up and down. So basically right now, I'm gonna take this. I got a pen handy. I'm gonna put it like not too far back. You know, I'm gonna give it enough slack and basically I'm just making a marking with my pen and I'm tracing it out. Now that I have a tracing here, I'll take a scissor, I'll cut it and then we'll put it on. I would say definitely be sure to use a good pen. So I already took the white off. My right side here I could easily cut. I'm basically gonna just try to line this up as best as I could without having any of like the black exposed. Uh, again, this is going to be right underneath. It's not supposed to make a ramp. It's supposed to just barely. That's not too bad, actually. And again, I'm definitely making sure that I'm hitting, like, the edges. I want to make sure. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's pretty solid. Okay, cool. I now have my little scissors I use to cut my electrical tape. This is, like, uh, wiring scissors. And I might as well... Cut. Awesome. I have a little edge there. Again, being very careful with my brand new play field. Boom. Awesome. Black rubber installed. The kiddo is sleeping. I'm going to at least start. I'll start a game just to make sure it tests. I'll probably just, I'll probably flip a little bit. <laughs> All right, I got my volume low. We'll press start. Cool, all right, ramp dropped. And yeah, that rubber, yeah, that rubber is there. Awesome, that is a solid mod right there. So now I'm gonna basically monitor it. Uh, again, you don't even see it. I know I have to zoom in on you, but you don't even see it. Nice. Put the play field purple, and there you go. So zooming in so you can see it, right there, you, you really don't see the rubber. You don't want the rubber to come out, obviously, it's gonna inter interfere with the ball, but it's literally, wow. That was an easy one, pretty simple mod. And not to mention that little piece of rubber, I don't know, it was like five bucks. And I have a lot for the future. So again, I didn't do the whole rear, there's no point of doing it back here, because, whoa, scared me. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's solid, that's in there, awesome. All right, next one up. Again, this is too new for me to really do it. The next one, some people are complaining about not being able to fully plunge to go around. I have not played it. Uh, people have suggested, I do have it on order. I did order the Red Spring. Um, I don't know the exact model number. There's a, there, you need the red one. There's different color springs. I ordered the red. Um, again, I got the kiddo sleeping. I'm gonna try to do a full plunge. And as you can see, it did not do a full plunge. Let's see the auto. It did not do it. So again, again though, I don't think that when the auto launch, I don't think it does that. Some people do say though, take a look at your plunger and make sure it's actually dead center, dead on. Um, it looks okay. Again, that's something where I don't, I don't really have the expertise for that. I'm gonna do like a quick punch. That went through, that went. That went. So again, my brother-in-law, not bad. It's really a quick plunge. My brother-in-law played the first game. It was, the table wasn't leveled. He was able to fully plunge. Again, I am right now at a 6.7 to 6.8 um, pitch. So let's do it one more time. Again, I'm doing a quick plunge where I'm going to let it go. No, that was a little rough. So. Something that you'll definitely want to play with. See, that one went through. Some people though, they do have complaints. It's like one out of every 10. 
Um, so right now I did it twice and one out of two it went. Um, that's also another thing. I'm pretty sure changing out the spring is not too bad. You probably got to take off, you know, like the horseshoe clip. Uh, but yes, that is also another thing to consider. Sliding in again on this video, just want to give you a quick update. I've been playing my game, getting a little bit better. One big thing I did do is that I did change the pitch. I'm actually at a 7.0 pitch right now. I was playing at 6.8 and I felt like the ball was kind of floaty. Um, I kind of wanted a little bit more of an aggressive game. So I am right now at a 7.0 and I also changed the pinballs. I did put in my uh, ball barons, which I'm going to mention later on in this video. Uh, I do have ball barons Polaris in this. Uh, I didn't do ninjas because there's a magnet, not to mention ninjas were not available. Me playing now, I don't know if it's because of the ball barons or because of the pitch, um, but honestly, I'm able to get full plunges. Now just an update, I did not change the spring yet. It actually didn't come in the mail yet, so I should probably check out where that is. But again, I did order a red spring. I did not install it. So I figured why not take a couple of quick plunges uh, with the ball barons in. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. So we got ball one, here we go. Pretty good. Pretty good there. So again, that's auto plunges on those. So those two are auto plunges. Lost, uh, lost our ball. So now we're gonna wait for the next one. Then full plunge hold, let him go. That is a full plunge there. Awesome. We'll do it one more time on ball three. So the big thing is then I'm doing a full plunge holding and then releasing. So that one I did not get. Let that drain. Cool. I do believe possibly with the auto plunge, I feel like you might be able to bump up the coil um, on that. So. You could always do that, but that right there, two out of three on a full plunge. I'm gonna do it one more time so you can actually see how I'm plunging. So again, I'm holding and then releasing. So that one, I did not get a full plunge on that. We'll let the ball drain. So again, auto plunge, I'm not getting it. We're gonna do it one more time. Before, just now, I was doing it just like that. So I would full, bang. So no plunge on that. That one went through. Let it drain. Do it one more time. It looks like, honestly, just to be safe, I'm gonna most likely do the red spring. So again, I'm gonna full, no. So, First game again, two. That full plunge, there you go. And do it one more time and then we'll call it. I will most likely be doing the red spring mod once it comes in. Well, Cuneo, here we go. Ready, same thing. Well, on this one, you know what? I'm gonna do just a whole, I'm gonna do a quick plunge like that. Let's see. So I did get that one. Okay, that was kind of a quick release, kind of like that. Cool, we'll do it again. I'm gonna do the same technique. I'm just gonna pull it. Here we go. So, nope. Cool, so again, there might be a way to set the coil for the auto plunge, maybe to just add a little bit more, uh, just like the flippers and such. So, let's do one more ball. I'm gonna do it the old way now. I'm gonna hold and then release. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna hold. And that's a full plunge there. So it's not awful. I probably will be doing um, the red spring. I'm gonna most likely put the red spring on it. But there you go. 
Now, another thing that you might want to consider, apparently everybody does it. They never use the stock balls. I'm really referring to Stern. I don't have a Stern, never had it. But many people do talk about the Stern balls. In this game right here, I do have the Jersey Jack balls that came with the game. Uh, I will definitely be rubbing this again in alcohol. Uh, but people do suggest getting ball barons. These are the Polaris carbon ones. Um, looking for the ball. <laughs> Um, it is, uh, you can't do ninjas because there is a magnetic piece in the rear here. Um, so keep that in mind. There is one magnet in this game. Let's... I might have to do that at spring mod. I'm going to probably lean towards doing that. Beautiful. So yes, currently in the game right now, I do have the six stock Jersey Jack pinballs in there. Um, I'm gonna most likely do this. I'm gonna do a couple of mild games. Maybe after like 10 or 15 games, I'll swap out the balls just to get like a feel of everything. So another full punch. So that now is the third or fourth time I tried. Let's do one more. We got one more ball. Might as well right before the video ends. Uh, but yes, once I got this, I took my um, took my microfiber cloth. Just no, nothing added to it. I didn't put any Novus on it. Number four. So I don't know. We're gonna have to play around with it. I already have a spring on order. I mean, listen, a spring is like I think I paid ten bucks uh, with shipping. So you know. Something minor, again, I did get the red. I believe red is the strongest. I got the red, so, you know, it doesn't affect, you have the two short plunges there, you should just get the red. Uh, but yes, like I said, I'm gonna do a couple of games with the balls already stocked from JJP, but I do have my ball barons already on order. All right, on the next modification that you might wanna consider, you don't have to do this, but you might wanna consider it. Basically, there is a way to adjust the screen settings uh, somebody in Pinside basically adjusted it where they kind of raised the contrast and they lowered the brightness. I haven't played enough games um, to you know really see if I have any issues. It looks great, the screen looks fine, um, but why not? I'm awake, might as well try to figure it out. So I'm gonna unlock here, I'm gonna grab our glass, lift up a little bit with this little ledge, and nice and easy. I'm trying not to put fingerprints on my play field. And cool, we are out. We got the back glass on the side. It might be kind of blinding for you. Um, but basically it says here, LCD pull here. So you have to actually take your hand behind the actual LED strip. And it is magnetized. And you can hear that, that the magnet caught on that one. Nice and easy. No need to rush it. Take your time with it. Also looks like now the camera is not connected. Cool, this comes out. Wow, it's got a nice little arm to it. I do see, for example, the HDMI. So basically from here, this is where I would kind of uh, take my HDMI if I was gonna stream and then maybe put an Elgato to this. Uh, pretty cool right now. I'm just admiring. Very cool stuff. You do also wanna be careful because everything is live, but on the right side of the screen, you do have the options for the menu and stuff. So if I tilt this to the right, cool. We have the option here for menu. I should actually see if you can see it. <laughs> so on the rear, on the right, it does say menu. You do have the option for brightness, contrast, color, temp. Again, somebody did post like a couple of numbers that you might want to do. Let's see what if we happens if we go up and down. You got audio display position we don't want to touch that OSD source so it is a 1080p that's pretty good uh, all right let's see maybe we could do enter in I guess menu is enter yep color temp stock is 6500 what if I do 93 got a little darker Oh, you could actually set this to user now. That's cool. So you could play around with the red and greens. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put this to 93. 
the, that has more of a gold color to it. 65. I'm going to leave it at 65. I think it was like more about the, I was going to probably bring down the brightness and then raise up like the contrast. Again, somebody in Pinsai did this. Uh, so you could always look at Pinsai to see what others have done. Contrast is usually a, a probably a good thing to play around with, but there are some basics. You might want to consider doing it, going to the screen settings and all that, and also maybe playing around with this color and stuff. But yeah, there you go. That's a quick one. Like I said, I'm gonna have to just do this on my own. You're gonna have to maybe in game, uh, probably the attract mode is not the best area to do this, but cool. We're gonna hit source apparently to exit. And there you go. Basically now, we just kind of push it back in. It's on like an arm. So that's pretty cool. And basically it will just magnetically click. Again, you want the magnet to click. So I got one magnet in. I'm gonna have to go on that side and we'll get the second one in. All right guys, probably the last mod for now until I discover more stuff. Let's look at the apron. Check it out without any of the cards. It is beautiful without the cards. Uh, again, normally you do have your rule set here and then Eric's signature here. Again, Eric, you made a beautiful, you made a beautiful game, man. I have bad handwriting. I would probably compare my handwriting to yours. Uh, I'm just not a fan of the signature. Uh, no offense. It's no offense. So this will be changed. Shockingly, when I removed this, it was hiding this beautiful gold. It's, it's gold. It's it's great. It's, it's got even like a little bit of a shimmer flake to it. It's basically like the apron. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. Shockingly hidden with the rules. So me personally, like I mentioned before, I am looking to modify the coin button here to insert coins. Um, you do have Josie Jack's beautiful, you know, logo here. I might just leave it like this. I might leave the, the rule set here. Yes, it's odd because rule sets are usually here, but I wish they put this here. They should have put this here. That would have been beautiful. Um, but again, as you can see, without any cards, some people on pin side remove the cards because it does look amazing there. I'm most likely for the time being because I do want to see the rules. I don't need the $1 per play. I'm going to leave actually the rule set here. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. That's going to go right there. I'm going to go right on the edge to edge on that i was gonna put the one dollar you know play but i love this this i just discovered it i'm changing my mind i'm gonna leave the rules here yes it's not really where it should be but i'm leaving that I, this is beautiful right here so in case you're wondering these are the cards inside it's double sided so you have the one dollar one play three balls or one dollar one play five balls you got two dollar and then you got a 75 cent one i was gonna put the one dollar one um basically again these are cards but the magnet stays. So I would take the Eric magnet, I would pull out the card from it, and then put this there. So there you go, that's that. There is a couple of extra, like it looks like Mylar stickers inside of this. Let's see what this big circle one is. I did not fully open this. Yes, I'm wearing gloves because I was gonna put the glass on. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have here? Off the 50 year circular i wonder where you would put that this is for the spinner it's the godfather that's pretty cool that's nice it's got a nice gold hue to it with the flakes where would you put that i don't know but that's pretty solid right there well guys there you have it again if you do have a godfather you might want to consider doing a couple of these minor things they're not really that big of a deal uh, you know, some people it's like detrimental. It's awful. I get it. You know, we shouldn't have to do this, but um, hey, better safe than sorry. Take the time. I learned about my machine now, now that I opened it and such. As you can see, again, I do have a collector's edition. Yes, but Vic, where is your topper? My topper, unfortunately, does not fit in my basement. Um, I could actually give a quick measurement. I'll put it in the video before this with the unboxing. I'll do a quick measurement, but um, Yes, I do have big plans for the topper though. I'm gonna take those gunners off the topper and I'm planning to put them on the sides of the back box or in the front here. This way they kind of shoot along with the gangster inside. And then who knows, 
Maybe other people will like the mod and then we'll branch out with it. I'm just kind of happy that I'm not the only one that had to remove the topper. Um, it's a thing of beauty, man. I'm just happy that it's here. It is home. And uh, unfortunately, I can't play because the kiddo is sleeping and it's loud. <laughs> but on that note, stay tuned. I have a lot of videos coming up. Why I picked The Godfather, my little journey going to like, you know, pinball arcades and stuff. There's a lot that I want to just make video and content on. I do plan to live stream this. I do have already the whole coat rack set up and I'll put the camera. I'm going to figure out now kind of like an easier solution as far as um, doing like the, you know, putting the back glass to the streams. There's a lot going on, but there you have it. I am exhausted. It's been a long day. <laughs> Vic VP, Game Case Arcades.